question of the commercial viability of the foregone therapy facility and requires a health economist. But the SLA, well, the sales and licensing agreement, concerns um, the question of suitability of the software, therefore, it requires a, a software specialist. And that concludes my submission. Thank you. Uh, just a very quick one, if I take you back to the standard terms argument that you made. If those standard terms are incorporated into the second agreement, how does that work? Thus, the whole arbitration. 
concentration class is uh, not employed. Um, do, do, you, do you think that um, it, can, it, can has any, it can have any bearing on, on your client's good faith? Um, there, um, it was respondent's um, intention to include such a review mechanism to, to the arbitration um, agreement. However, we, we, we must admit that it is invalid due to the, the exceeded uh, the, um, the extension of the ground of the review. And there is a possibility that in the event that this case reaches the court, the court might uh, not review the actual award as seeing that uh, the agreement to the judicial review contradicts to, to the law. Therefore, we ask the tribunal to find this clause invalid. Are you sure you addressed uh, We are not arguing that uh, the software is good or not, but rather the sale and licensing agreement is not a sale of good governed by CST. According to Article 3, sub Article 1. My second submission is that even tribunal find that the sale and licensing agreement is a sale of good in the sense of CISG, CISG is not applicable because it is included by the party. I would like to start in my first submission. Uh, Article 3, sub Article 1 of the CISG stated that CISG do not govern the uh, contract for the supply of goods to be manufactured. If uh, a party or order goods undertake to supply a substantial part of the material necessary for such manufacture. In our case, respondent supply information uh, which uh, constitute a substantial part of the photography facility. In order to prove that uh, the Article 3 sub article are applicable in our situation, respondent must prove two things. The first is that the information supplied by us is recognized as the material in the sense of Article 3, sub-Article 1. 